constituent parties of the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition have accepted to dissolve and join the United Democratic Alliance following the Secretary General Cleophas Malala's call to fold their parties. In a statement, the parties, including Umoja na Maendeleo Party, Farmers Party, Chama Chamashinani, National Agenda Party, Chama Chakazi, Kimani and Economic Freedom Party noted the move as a bid to present a unified front for the 2027 general election. Now, in October 2022, Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria's Chama Chakazi was first to fold and join the ruling party ahead of his appointment to the position. Malala's call to the constituent parties has elicited varied reactions with pundits suggesting it is a testing move for the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition. Uh, first of all, it's a, a toe. it is very offensive to call these parties small parties. <laughs> for a political party to be registered, it must have met the threshold of being a national party. It must have um, met the, all the prerequisites as encapsulated in the Political Parties Act. And therefore, uh, these are not small parties. These are parties which helped his Excellency President William Samoy Ruto attain his goal of being the President of the Republic of Kenya. These are affiliate parties of Kenya Kwanzaa. They even signed the Kenya Kwanzaa Agreement. So these are not small parties. So in Kenya Kwanzaa, we do not have a small party and a big party. We are just converging in a vehicle that can carry all our ideological um, uh, 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 concepts so that we, as we move forward, we move forward as one team. Second, I have clearly stated in my uh, uh, statement that this is the first step. They have shown goodwill to dissolve their parties. We are going to walk through all the legal provisions guided by the Register of Political Parties, which is not limited to calling their National Executive Council, uh, their NDCs. We are going to uh, attend all their NDCs. And for a party leader, there is a reason why Governor Ambora is a party leader. He leads the party. For him to make this decision, he has already consulted with all his officials, and you will soon be seeing us attending all their NDCs, all their uh, National Executive Council meetings, just to ensure that um, we achieve this dream. So this is a show of goodwill, that yes, they buy into the idea of folding parties and forming one strong party called the UDA. Uh, on the issue of us convincing um, the rest of the parties. As I said earlier, this is an ongoing discussion. It is not a, a, a one-time thing. It's an ongoing discussion, and as the Deputy President said the other day, we shall not force anybody to fold this party. We are going to convince our, our sister parties within Kenya Kwanzaa in a respectful way. If they think otherwise, Again, we exist in the realm of uh, democratic space. We shall uh, respect their position of not dissolving, and we shall continue working with them. We are comfortable with the current setup. We are only improving what we have. So if Ford Kenya and NC think that they cannot fold up, we will still work with them because they are our brothers. They are major partners in this coalition. And um, we are in terms of uh, strategy or in terms of uh, ideology. So they are our partners and we are still engaging them. And I can assure you, at the end of the day, we shall have one party called UDA. Take it from me. On the issue of state officers occupying office, Article 77, Subsection 2 is very clear that uh, you cannot be a state officer and occupy uh, a, a, a position in a political party. So I will be also requesting our, 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 our affiliate um, uh, or the membership of Kenya Kwanzaa to adhere to the Constitution. That is not my position. That is the position of the Constitution that we all passed in 2010. 